欢迎大家收听早安英文。Colin, are you excited? For what? We're going to have a three-day holiday. Oh, you mean the Dragon Boat Festival? That's not a three-day holiday. That's just a normal weekend with an extra day off. Come on, it's just never going to be enough for you, is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So Dragon Boat Festival is Dragon Boat Day, right? Yes, Dragon Boat Day 要到了啊，我们又迎来了一个三天的小长假。按照我们 Colin 老师的说法呢，是一个周末再加一天休息。Anyway, do you have any plans? Nah, probably just going to stay at home and grab a drink with some friends sometime. Sounds interesting. So what about you? Well, I'm gonna go back home and and stay with your cat. I know, I know. Just like how you spent your last holiday and the one before that. <laughs> well, that's so true. <laughs> But it's also a family reunion day. Is it? Every traditional Chinese festival is a reunion day for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, why don't we just expand on it a little bit, and you can tell me more about the festival. No problem. 那今天我们就来聊一聊关于端午节那些你需要知道的英文表达吧。So the Dragon Boat Festival is also called Double Fifth Festival. Do you know why? Yeah,、uh, yeah. It's on the fifth day of the fifth month of the traditional Chinese calendar. 对，就说我们康林老师是个中国通，没错啊。端午节呢，我们也可以叫做 Double Fifth Festival， 重五节，因为是在农历的五月初五这一天啊，所以叫做 Double Fifth。那我们刚刚说到的农历或者是阴历，你就可以说 traditional Chinese calendar. Yeah, traditional Chinese calendar or、uh, Chinese lunar calendar. Both are okay. Do you know the origin of it? Yeah, the festival commemorates the death of a patriotic poet. Um, what was his name again? Qu Yuan. Yes, Qu Yuan. He died by suicide by drowning himself in the Milo River, right? Exactly. We, Colin 老师果然知道的很多啊。那我们都知道，端午节呢，就是为了纪念伟大的爱国诗人屈原。爱国诗人 ，patriotic poet。那纪念、怀念，我们就可以用这个词 commemorate. Yes, to commemorate an important event or person means to remember them by means of a. A special action, a ceremony, or specially created object. Yes, and one of the most important events in Dragon Boat Festival is Dragon Boat Race. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a Dragon Boat Race on TV before. Looks exciting. 对，端午节最重要的一项活动就是赛龙舟，对不对 ？Dragon Boat Race. Do you know the origin of Dragon Boat Race?、Mm, no. What is it? Well, it is said that the local people who admired Qu Yuan raced out in their boats to save him, or at least retrieve his body. Oh, okay. So the tradition has been handed down to this day. 对，那赛龙舟的这个习俗呢，也是从过去一直流传到今天。刚刚我们康林老师就用到了一个词啊 ，hand down. Yes, if you hand down something such as uh, knowledge, uh, possession, or skill. You give or leave it to people who belong to a younger generation. 对，那我们就可以用 hand down 来表示传承、流传、世代相传。Have you seen or participated in a real dragon boat race? No, also just saw it on TV once. Well, I think it is very important for you young generations to know the tradition and ideally to carry this forward. What do you mean? Well, for example, the dragon boat race is. A very good tradition. It's a good exercise, and it's a good way for people to work together as a whole to win something. 确实啊，赛龙舟这种比赛不仅是让我们记住了这个重要的节日，同时呢，也能感受到这个团队协作的乐趣，确实是很不错的。But it's very difficult. Well, not if you know how to swim and how to row. And I think these are very important skills that students should learn in school. Not just the knowledge of it. Exactly. 确实，像是游泳啊、划船这种是基本的，我们说生存技能，对不对？可能大部分同学呢，还是只是停留在这个理论知识阶段了。咱们在学校呢，基本是没有一个实践的机会的。That's what I'm talking about. I agree with you. Well, I think we forgot something very important. Hmm.、Oh, let me guess. Uh, is that also someone's birthday? No, the food. Oh, I see. Zongzi, right? Yeah. <laughs> 怎么可以忘记粽子呢？这个是端午节最重要的事情了吧 ？Do you like it? Um. Well, I have to admit, I'm I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> you don't like it? I don't hate it, but it's just not something you eat every day, right? Yeah. For me, zongzi is just a 
A festival food, just like mooncakes. Do you like it? I love it. My favorite is 蛋黄肉粽 Have you tried it?、Mm, no, I don't think so. The ones I've always had have just been rice. 居然没有吃过蛋黄肉粽 How dare you? So egg yolk, 咸蛋黄 You know that, right? Yeah, I know that.、Uh, 咸蛋黄 So egg yolk, meat. That has been marinated for several hours and sticky rice or other fillings wrapped in bamboo leaves. Yeah, sounds delicious. Try one later. Okay, you won't regret it. <laughs> 那粽子自然是过端午节必不可少的，对不对？而且一直啊，我们都有一个南北方的甜咸粽子之争啊。大家喜欢什么粽子呢？在评论里面跟我们分享一下吧。我个人呢是坚决的咸粽党。别跟我杠啊，杠就是你有理。Well, do you have an English word for zongzi? Well, you can say it's a traditional Chinese pudding or rice dumpling, but I prefer zongzi. It's a traditional Chinese food. We don't have it in the West, so if you want to introduce it to a foreigner, you can just say zongzi. 对，那粽子作为中国的传统食物啊。它没有相对应的一个英文名称。如果大家需要用英文介绍的时候呢，你直接说粽子就可以了，完全没有任何问题的。他们是可以听得懂的。So, are there any other traditions for the Dragon Boat Festival? Yes, of course. 那不同的地区呢，关于端午节也还是有不同的习俗的啊。除了我们刚刚说到的比较熟悉的，像是赛龙舟啊、吃粽子啊，还有一些地方呢会喝雄黄酒，会用五彩的丝线缠在自己的手腕或者脚腕上，会挂钟馗的画像或者辟邪符，还有一些地方啊会插艾叶来驱病辟邪。Sounds interesting. Um, are we finished now? I need to go buy some of that zongzi stuff. <laughs> okay, 那我们今天的节目就先到这里吧。我们匡林老师急着要去买蛋黄肉粽啊。在这里呢，我们祝大家端午节快乐，身体健康。大家一定要吃到好吃的粽子，好不好 ？Well, that's all for today's podcast. This is Colin, and this is Blair. Thank you very much for listening, and see you next time. Bye. This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。